This carburetor is used on some Kohler Command Pro engines, like the CV682, 732, and 742. Two-barrel carbs can provide better performance than a single barrel, with each barrel being jetted specific to a cylinder. It has a vacuum-operated accelerator pump, and a standard afterbang solenoid that blocks the main jet when the ignition is switched off. Some models feature a second afterbang solenoid that deactivates the accelerator pump. It has a self-relieving choke design, meaning the choke shaft is spring-loaded. This type of choke shaft needs to remain free of corrosion and varnish that could seize the shaft and prevent the choke from closing. Let's take a look inside the bowl. The bowl, float, and inlet needles supply fuel to both barrels. Main jets, nozzles, and pilot jets are screwed into the bowl. The left and right side jets are unique and must return to their original position. Main jets are contained within the nozzle as a single component. I would have wrecked this pilot jet with a standard screwdriver. It was very tight. You've heard me say this before, only use hollow ground bits on brass jets. Remember to keep the jets separated because if you mix them up, there is no way to identify them as left or right. This pilot jet was also very tight. There's really no benefit to making it this tight. They just need to be snug. The accelerator pump uses a spring-loaded diaphragm that is retracted by intake vacuum. When the throttle is rapidly opened, vacuum is lost and fuel is squirted directly into the barrel. This is the extent of disassembly likely necessary for cleaning or installation of a carb overhaul kit. There are numerous ports and components pressed into the bowl that could become corroded beyond repair. If this happens, the carb will likely need replacement. 